Hey everyone, it is Fitz with The Daily Delivery. Hope you're doing well. I am doing great. I'm doing great in part because these daily deliveries have become a staple of our K-State coverage, of our coverage of college sports, and I'm just so pleased that so many people watch these on a daily basis. I hear so much about them from people. I'm very humbled and flattered by it. Uh, and if you're not subscribing to the YouTube channel, please do so. If you're not subscribing to Go Powercat, please consider doing so also. Look, I've never been someone who celebrates birthdays. Even as a kid, I don't ever remember asking for a party, wanting a party. And as you get older, frankly, their birthdays aren't, you know, great milestones. I've had some fun get togethers for 40 and 50 and those type of things. But for the most part, birthdays are just another day. And today is my birthday. I'm in a car with my wife for most of the day, driving out to Colorado for a little getaway, an extended weekend, and we hope we're gonna have a good time and find some good weather out there. But now birthdays have a little more meaning for me. And this is what happens uh, when you're diagnosed with cancer. So in case you don't know, in the spring of 2018, while covering the NCAA tournament in Atlanta, I got a phone call from an insurance agent declining my life insurance policy because my PSA score was too high. Didn't know what a PSA score was. So I looked it up and found out that it was a strong indicator of prostate cancer or something in prostate health, something's gone wrong. Went to my doctors, did all the exams, kept following up, and sure enough, I had prostate cancer. At the time, we didn't know how, how serious it was, but it turned out to be very serious. By the time I had surgery, which was very quickly on July 3rd of that year, it had advanced dramatically and spread outside of my prostate and into my bladder, which makes me a stage four for prostate cancer. Basically, at stage four with prostate cancer, you have about a 5% chance of surviving five years. That's when it's spread and you've kind of gone over the, the hump, so to speak. If you're stage three or before, it's all in your prostate. They can take your prostate out and your cancer's gone. Well, stage four prostate cancer is exactly what took Matt Miller, our former Korea State quarterback and a good friend of mine, way too young. Uh, and so, you know, along the way, I decided I was going to be very vocal and outgoing about my cancer journey. But here's something I haven't often shared. When starting my radiology treatments, I went through 39 high doses of, of it over in the fall of 2018. They gave me a 27% chance of those radiation treatments working. They gave me six years to live. Basically, I wasn't going to see age 60. So today I'm 58. And yeah, we're going to celebrate. And we're going to celebrate every birthday with new meaning from here on out. I'm beating the odds. I'm in remission. And I know that those odds are really steep. And it's odd when you're in that situation. You feel joy that you've reached that milestone and guilt about so many other guys that have prostate cancer and can't celebrate that with a remission. So onward we go. And if there's one thing I've learned from cancer though, it's that you just gotta keep going forward. A friend recently told me that she has advanced breast cancer, way too young. Just gotta take every day, every battle, every challenge you face, whether it's emotional or physical, and take it one at a time. Don't get lost in the war, fight what's in front of you, and keep moving forward. So thank you to everyone. Thank you to the Lord above. Thank you for all your prayers. You'll never convince me they didn't help because together we're beating the odds. Tomorrow I'll be back with some K-State sports. Actually, you know what? In a couple days I'll be back with K-State sports. I'm going to take at least one day all for myself in Breckenridge and my wife. She'll be there.